me like smooth. What? Can you teach me how to dug it? You know why? Cause all the girls love me. Hey. All I need is a Okay, well then, we're going to teach you the common plants that you found in the Philippines and in, the, in other countries. Now I'm going to introduce you to the leafy poisonous plants called the croton. The croton scientific name is called Codianum barigatum. It's common, it's a common house plant. The leaf colors are, are eye catching from yellow, pink, red, or even orange. Crotons are available in many different colors and sizes. The poisonous parts of these are all. The latex part of the plant can cause ischemia in some gardeners ingested the bark or roots can cause burning and irritation in the mouth. Occasionally, eczema has been reported after repeat use, repeated exposure to the latex. This is the other plant we saw while we were walking. This is called the desert rose. Its scientific name is Adenium obesum. <laughs> Its description is, this popular plant is succulent steam curve with few branches. The fleshy branches bear alternately arranged simple shiny leaves, which are usually shed when flowering. The flowers are crimson red and trumpet shaped. The plant flowers throughout the year. The poisonous parts are the seeds, um, leaves, and bank. Its effect is nausea, vomiting, dizziness, low, lowered pulse, ir irregular heartbeat, and dilated pupils. I'm going to introduce you the poisonous plants that you can see at home. Dove cane. Its scientific name is the Pente Baksha. A rhombus evergreen herbs. Stem can grow to 1.5 meters tall. The, green, the leaves are glossy, green and irregular marked with white or yellowish lined with spots along the veins. The poisonous parts are the snap and the leaves. The, the snap and the leaves of these plants are poisonous and some not, not, must not be allowed to come in contact with the mouth or eyes. Don't put this on your eyes or your mouth because it's an effect to the burning of your mouth. The calcium oxygenate crystals of the sap, sap cause the mouth and the throat to swell resulting in possible loss of speech for several days. So do not bite this or you will lose your Voice. Uh, this is the oleander. These ornamental shrubs are planted for colorful flowers. Some species of the oleander are such as Nisium indicum, has scented flowers. The leaves are simple, stiff, and leafy, and leathery and sharply pointed. Flowers are yellow and the rose are pink, red, purple, or white. Well, these are the, the two kinds of the uh, flowers of the oleander. The fruit appears as long as the pods. Poisonous parts are all of the parts. It's all parts. Um, the effects are abdominal pain, diarrhea, and nausea. Okay, guys, this is one of the common plants we saw. That. Um, this is its scientific name is Lantana camara, or it is called in our dialect as Baho Baho. Well, flower, perfect. And this thing called plant. Um, this is this description has um, this shrub is an attractive plant. 
It is brightly colored with Enabron clusters and it's bicolored. Um, its colors, um, it can be purple, orange, yellow, or lila. Or, oh, it's kind of a red somehow. Um, these leaves go singly and it has distinct odor when bruised. This poisonous plant is hmm, very dangerous because its, it's effects are fatal. Um, it can damage your lungs, kidney, heart, and nervous system. Its uses in the Chinese are it is a med it is a medicine. Um, it's the decorational plant used for battling ischemia and leprosy. The leaves in Indochina are stimulant to expel intestinal worms and to increase menstrual flow. They are applied in the ulcers, caught swellings in Indonesia and Malaysia, and also in the Philippines. next ornamental plant is what you call alamenda. It is used as a decorative to the historical heritage of Indiana Church. The alamenda is an ornamental climbing shrub that is native in the tropical America. It, it will cause diarrhea and vomiting. That's all.